everybody. Everybody, I'm back. Everybody, Jeannie Young is back, and I'm back with yet another amazing recipe. I am so excited today because today at the Young's house, Jeannie Young is going to share with you all how easy it is to make delicious Watergate salad. This recipe is so easy to make. It doesn't require a lot of ingredients, and you know, making Dina Young salad's gonna be so tasty. Y'all never had my Watergate salad before. You gotta make you some. Here are the lovely ingredients you will need. You're gonna need some milk. Now, any kind of milk you have at your house would be just fine. Today, I'm gonna be using 2% milk here, and you will need pudding. The pudding that you're going to need is this gorgeous pistachio pudding. You're going to need two boxes if you want to make a nice amount. You will need some crushed pineapples. You will also need some marshmallows. Now these are the mini marshmallows. It's highly suggested that you use the mini ones. Now there are rainbow marshmallows that you can purchase. You can use those as well. You're gonna need some pistachios. These pistachios have no shells and you're gonna need some marchino cherries. Make sure your hands are impeccably clean. Let's get started with this really quick and simple yet so tasty recipe. I am so excited for this recipe. This is definitely a recipe that you're going to want to have on your table for the holidays this year. You can make it for Thanksgiving, you can make it for birthdays, and it's really gorgeous on Christmas. So one of the first things that we need to do is let's go ahead and open up our two boxes of pistachio pudding. Have you all ever had pistachio pudding before? If you've never had this, just plain. It's delicious. It has such a great flavor. I am a true fan of pistachios. They are one of my favorite nuts to eat. All right, so we wanna get all that goodness out. I hope you all are having an amazing day. The whole month of November, Gina Young is gonna share with you all all of my holiday fixings so you all can have that recipe and you can make it for your family and friends and loved ones. I consider this to be a dessert. It's a really nice palate cleanser after eating all of those heavy foods for the holiday. You want something that's gonna cleanse the palate and you know, kind of cool you down a little bit. This right here is the recipe you're looking for. So we have two packages open, just like so. Now on the box of these packages, um, it tells you that you're gonna need two cups of milk Per box so we're going to use four cups of milk all right so let's get this poured I want to scoop my bowl over this way let me know in the comment section below have you all ever heard of this salad have you tried it before because it's such a great recipe and it's so fun doesn't require a lot of ingredients like I said right here we have two cups I'm gonna be using a handheld mixer to look at that gorgeous color, oh yeah. I'm gonna use a handheld mixer today. If you don't have a handheld mixer or you don't have a stand-up mixer, don't freak out, it's okay. Because you can just mix this up by hand, it'll turn out just perfect. It's not gonna have lumps in it, okay? All right, so now we have our four cups of milk. I wanna go in and give this a nice mix. All right, let's get all that out of there. I don't know where I put my cap to my milk. Here it is. <laughs> all right. So now let's start to blend. I'm just going to be a little tiny bit of noise. All right, I'm going to start out blending this on a low, just like so. Okay, everyone. Our um, Pudding is just about mixed up. I just want to mix it one more time and then we'll talk about it. Gorgeous. So what you're seeing, it literally only takes five minutes for this to get nice and thick. And I'm so happy that you don't have to put this in the refrigerator, let it set, you know, for it to thicken up. It's nice and thick already. So now what you need to do as far as your pineapples, I like to use the crushed. You can use the tidbits that are a little bit bigger than, you know, chopped. Um, so here's what we're gonna do. You have to drain 
your pineapple. So I'm gonna drain it here into a cup as much as I can because that juice right there, I drink that juice. All right, so we're gonna get all that goodness out. If a little bit of pineapple falls in a cup, that's okay. All right, I like to use this full can and the size of the can here is um, a 20 ounce can. Okay, so let's get all this goodness out. And then what I wanna do is I wanna take my pineapple, oh yeah, get all that goodness, every bit of it, right there into the pudding. Now, there's an ingredient I almost forgot to tell you all about, but it's never too late. We're gonna use this whole tub of the extra creamy Cool Whip, and we're gonna fold it in. We're not gonna stir it, because if you stir it, um, there's a chance that you can flatten your Cool Whip. So we're gonna do a folding motion, and I'm gonna show you how to do that. Let's set our pudding and our pineapples aside. Okay, and I want to chop up some of these gorgeous pistachios. Now, when you're making this recipe, absolutely, you could use whatever kind of nut you wanted to. But since it's pistachio pudding dessert, we're gonna use some pistachios, okay? All right, so I'm gonna grab a knife. When I come back, I'll show you how we're gonna chop these nuts. Here's how we're gonna chop the nuts. All right, just like so. You're gonna have nuts flying all over the place, but it's okay. That's what we have a broom and a dustpan for. All right, so chop it up as much as you can. I don't suggest leaving them whole. You know, break them down a little bit. It gives great flavor, and they are salted, so you're gonna get that little bit of saltiness in with this sweet dessert that really gives it a nice twist, okay? All right, just like so. After I get done chopping all these nuts, I'll be right back and I'll show you what we're gonna do next. Okay, everyone, so now that we have our pistachios, let me know how you say, sp I say pistachios. Let me know, <laughs> let me know if I'm saying it wrong. And if I'm saying it wrong, it's okay, <laughs> relax. <laughs> all right, so now I've chopped up the nuts, just like so. And then what I wanna do, is I want to mix in half of this bag. Uh, this is a 10 ounce bag. We're gonna use half of the bag, or a little bit more than half, of the marshmallows. All right, get them in there just like so it really makes the dish. All right, you see that's a little bit more than half of the bag. So now I wanna fold it just like this. I love the crunch, the, all these different textures you get the creaminess you get the fluffiness from the marshmallows you have that sour tangy sweet from the pineapples you know it's just it's just a mouthful of goodness all right so we're going to do this until everything's nice and combined and then we're going to go in oh yeah and it smells good like my mouth right now is salivating i'm going to go in and we're going to take this full cool whip this is an eight ounce container extra creamy you don't have to use extra creamy make your own cool whip if you like get it in there and like i said we're going to fold it in the purpose for folding it one more time is so that it remains nice and airy and you don't lose that fluffiness of the cool whip just like this get it nice and folded Oh yeah, like I am so excited. Now here's an option when you're making this. When you serve this, you can serve this with the um, chessmen cookies around the outside or just on the side so people can dip it. Um, you know, when it's served, you can use um, vanilla wafers. You can use pretzels. All of those cookies and the pretzels, they go delicious with this here. Okay, everyone, so here's what you're gorgeous. Watergate salad should look like. And you know it needs to be chilled. So now what I like to do, we're gonna take some of these pistachios and we're gonna put them across the edge. Let me grab a handful so it doesn't take me forever in a day. All right, we're gonna decorate it just like so. Not too many, okay. Keep in mind they will get mixed in. You don't want too many whole pistachios in with your dessert. Okay, so here's what I like to do. I always like to grab the Maraschino cherries. They are simply gorgeous. Just to finish it off and make it nice and beautiful. Ha! There you go, baby. 
All right, listen here, everybody. If you all enjoyed this here video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you click on that notification bell so you can be notified every time Gina Young uploads one of these awesome recipes. Tell your family and friends and everybody you know, tell the whole world about Gina Young and what I'm doing in this kitchen on a daily basis. We're gonna say a quick prayer when I come back and you all are gonna get that first bite. Take a look at it, everybody. Pistachio pudding, Gina Young style, make you some heavenly father lord jesus we want to thank you for a beautiful day today lord we thank you for your love time your mercy and your understanding please forgive us for our sins come into our hearts we make you our lord and savior send your angels down to surround us day and night your holy spirit to help us make good decisions give us peace over our minds in the name of jesus we pray that no weapons formed against us shall prosper and we bind the devil away from us in Jesus' name. Devil, you have no authority over this household in the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the roof over our head, the food, the love, the peace and the joy that you bring us every day. Amen. Amen to my beautiful prayer. Let's take a bite. I can't wait any longer. This is one of my favorite desserts. So easy to make. Look at this. The adults, the kids, anyone you feed this to, oh, they're going to go nuts over this. I'm going in. <laughs> mm. <laughs> mm. Mm -mm. You know, this is really like flavor overload on my taste buds. You've got that, mm -mm -mm. you got the marshmallows that are really fluffy. You got that cool whip flavor. The pistachio pudding alone is delicious. And you put those pineapples in, oh, and the chopped pistachios, my goodness. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm and as always, God bless you all. Thank you all for watching. Good night.